May you abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a miraculous prayer to change your life. Watch this entire video and stand in faith with me as I pray for you. Here are five Psalms for your morning prayer. Start your day with strength and guidance. Morning Psalms Psalm 121 Our help comes from the Lord. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip, he who watches over you will not slumber, indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you, the Lord is your shade at your right hand, the sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm, he will watch over your life, the Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Psalm 103, God is our Redeemer, and crowns us with love and compassion. Praise the Lord, O my soul, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion who satisfies your life with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgression from us. Psalm 91, God will protect our way. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. Psalm 46, God calls us to find rest and peace in him. God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. God is within her, she will not fall, God will help her at break of day, the Lord Almighty is with us, the God of Jacob is our fortress. Be still and know that I am God, I will be exalted among the nations, I will exalt it in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us, the God of Jacob is our fortress. Psalm 23, The Lord is our shepherd and he will lead the way. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters, he refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Type Amen if you trust God. Remember to like this video, and, give thanks. Pray with me right now. We are going to be praying in Jesus' name, standing in the Word of God, for deliverance and miracles. O blood and water, which flowed from the heart of Jesus as a source of mercy for us, I trust in you. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth immensely for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened throughout the world. O source of life, O infinite mercy, surround the whole world and take care of us. 
O blood and water that flowed from the most holy heart of Jesus as a source of mercy for us, I trust in you. O Jesus, you gave yourself to us with such amazing passion solely for love. Your Father's justice would have been atoned for with a single breath of yours and all your annihilations are acts of your mercy and your inconceivable love. When you were dying on the cross, at that moment you gave us your eternal life, having allowed opening your most sacred side you opened to us an inexhaustible source of your mercy, you offered us the most valuable thing you had, that is, the blood and water of your heart. Behold the omnipotence of your mercy, from it all grace flows to us. O Jesus, eternal truth, our life, I beg you and beg your mercy for poor sinners. Sweetest heart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy, I beg you for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, source of mercy from which rays of inconceivable graces spring forth over the entire human race. I beg you for light for poor sinners. O Jesus, remember your bitter passion and do not allow the souls redeemed with your most precious, most holy blood to be lost. O Jesus, when I consider the high price of your blood, I rejoice in its immensity because a single drop would have been enough to save all sinners. Oh, what joy burns in my heart when I contemplate your inconceivable goodness, O oh Jesus' own. I wish to bring all sinners to your feet so that they may glorify your mercy forever and ever. O oh Jesus stretched out on the cross, I beg you to grant me the grace to faithfully fulfill the most holy will of your Father in all things, always and everywhere. And when this will seems heavy and difficult to fulfill, it is then that I beg you, Jesus, that strength and strength flow over me from your wounds and that my lips constantly repeat, your will be done, Lord. O Savior of the world, lover of human salvation who, amidst terrible torments and pain, forgot yourself to think only of the salvation of souls. Most compassionate Jesus, grant me the grace to forget myself so that I can live totally for souls helping you in the work of salvation, according to the most holy will of your Father. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life sprouted for souls and the sea of mercy opened for the whole world. O source of life, unfathomable mercy of God, embrace the whole world and pour yourself out on us. Amen. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a miraculous prayer to change your life. Watch this entire video and stand in faith with me as I pray with you. Miracle Abundance Prayer I walk in the ways of the Word and never fail to recognize the help that I am given. My angel is preparing the way to make me prosperous and successful in everything that I set my hand to do. This very moment he is taking the words that I speak and bringing them to pass in my life. I remain in perfect fellowship with the Lord and he guides me in all that I do. I am quick to obey his commands. He is with me in times of trouble and never fails to deliver me. He blesses both me and my children after me. He is my faithful and trusted friend who honors his every promise. I will trust his word and not be afraid. Father. I thank you that I will receive the maximum yield for my seed in the same year that I sow it. You bless me continually and make my name great. Because of your anointing, my substance increases so much that my enemies look upon me with jealousy and envy. Father, thank you for all of your goodness. You are so good to me. You give me the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. Your desire is to give me the best of all that the earth can yield. You give me heaven's anointing to cause me to thrive in the earth. I am a child of plenty. My provision never fails. Many are they who assist me in my calling. 
I have the favor of heaven and the favor of earth. Those who try to curse me only bring harm on themselves, and those who bless me receive your blessing in return. The Lord has blessed me with abundance. His favor finds a home in me. He receives the seed that I have sown and blesses it so that it will bring forth the maximum yield. He has taken hold of me in his powerful arm and promoted me. In him, I find wealth and position. I have been separated from the world. He has placed within me special and unique supernatural qualities. My supply is great with his blessing in my life. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Subscribe to this channel. Stay hopeful. God bless you. Let's ask the Lord Jesus Christ to enter our hearts and bless our lives. I will be standing in faith with you as we pray together today. The Lord wants to give you His presence, His love and hope. It doesn't matter what situation you're going through. The Lord will never reject you and He will never abandon you. Jesus will always be your best friend. On this day you will achieve everything you set out to do, because with God nothing is impossible. Get all thoughts of doubt out of your mind. Believe with all your heart and hold on to the promises of God. Trust that your future will be wonderful, and you will receive good things. Don't give up and never stop believing. Keep trusting and live each day with the certainty that God opens new doors of blessing. Let God take full control. He is your healer. God is the one who protects and cares for you at all times, and in all places. Rest in His arms. Remember that God has the last word, that His power is unique, and that He can change everything for you. Pray this prayer. Loving Father, help me to cultivate spiritual disciplines, so I am more able to receive what you have to tell me and more willing to do what you require. May I not only come to you with my needs, my praise, and my thanksgiving, but make a habit of spending time in worshipful listening. Help me not allow the distractions of social media and the busyness of life drown out your still small voice. Help me be guided in all things by you, rather than my own imperfect judgment. Let your spirit speak words of wisdom and guidance over my life today. You promised a comforter who will be with me every step of the way to guide me and supply what I need. Be with me, Father. Help me speak the right words, make the right choices, and choose the right opportunities. Making decisions can be confusing. Holy Spirit, don't allow me to make mistakes. Help me determine which direction will open the right doors and cause productive relationships to flourish. Amen. Today, leave behind everything that has caused pain in your life. It's time to move forward and enjoy everything that God wants to put in your hands. Live every minute of this day to the fullest, because it will be a day full of hope, victory, blessing, happiness, health, love peace, and abundance. God will move everything in your favor and give you new opportunities. Nothing and no one can stop the miracles He has for you. On this day, don't worry. Do not fear, because God is with you. If you liked this video, subscribe, and leave your comment, I can do everything in God. Pray with me right now. We are going to be praying in Jesus' name, standing in the Word of God for deliverance and miracles. I invite you to activate this energy of the possible together, attracting the miracles of perfect health. When a person begins to feel elevated emotions, their autonomic nervous system moves back into balance and that's when they start to heal. It is the superluminal presence of the Kingdom of Healing. Let's channel the gift of healing, which will also show us ways to heal ourselves, 
guiding us to find healing in nature and universal energy. Sit in a comfortable position, close your eyes, focus on the person to be healed and repeat the following prayer. Opening Prayer My Almighty God, I ask you, send to your servants, the angels of light, to give me the divine gifts of healing that you gave them. Guide us in the way of salvation, help us in our needs, make our homes happy and give us the power of healing in heaven. Amen. Father, I thank you that I am in Christ Jesus and carry his very same authority. You have given me power over all of the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm me. I stand before you now and exercise that power. Satan, I command you and every demon to leave me now, in Jesus' name. Take your foul sicknesses and ailments away from me, my family, and my friends. We are the healed of the Lord and we do not permit you to enter our presence. Father, your ministry marches on. Add to our number daily those who will be saved. Heal the sick, raise the dead, and bring prosperity to your church. Satan, I command your forces to leave my area of influence. Sickness and disease, you must flee. Health and prosperity, you must enter, in Jesus' name. You showed mercy to thousands of sick when they came to ask for help and wanted to at least touch your cloak. You did not reject them, but you looked at them with divine love and compassion. Today in prayer I bring my sick friend to you. Please, show them mercy. In prayer, I give my friend and their physical disability into your hands, God and ask that you heal their weak body. You are omnipotent, and I know you can give them strength and healing grace. Give them that grace so that they may enjoy good health and peace of mind. That when they are healthy and happy they may worship you with gratitude and thank you. Lord, please guide my friend to a closer relationship with you, that they may be and act more like our Heavenly Father. Please fill them with your love and glory. Help my friend to have restored faith, a renewed spirit, and the desire to share your love with others. Please remove their sadness and turn their sorrow into joy. Also, bless the work of doctors and medical staff so that they can do their work with love and from the heart. Please give medical professionals the knowledge and wisdom to help my friend and all who are suffering from sickness. Please give my friend peace and comfort as they experience this unforeseen journey. Thank you for this opportunity to entrust my dear people to your care. You are the best guardian. I thank you in advance, Father, through Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now. Ten important signs to know if you are saved by God. How do you know if you are truly saved? Different religions provide different ways to salvation and eternal life. However, if you are a Christian, you believe that there is only one way to get saved, and that is through Jesus Christ. Romans 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. According to the Bible, humankind is bound to death, both physical and eternal, because of sin. The above-mentioned verse tells us that the payment of sin is death not good works nor penitence. Since all people have sinned, everyone is meant to die and be eternally separated from God. However, because of God's mercy, He provided the payment for the sins of the world, and that is through the sacrifice of His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus died on the cross to pay sin's wage, and anyone who puts their trust in Him will be saved. In short, eternal life has become a gift freely given by God to those who believe in Him. The question is, have you trusted Christ as your Lord and Savior? If yes, you should eventually encounter these signs in yourself. 1. 
you have fully understood the gospel. The first sign of salvation is the complete understanding of God's sacrifice for the world. The gospel means good news, and it is all about the hope that anyone who believes in Jesus will spend eternity in heaven. Moreover, you should realize that it is only by God's grace that you are saved. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 says, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God 9 not by works, so that no one can boast. 2. You acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord. Completely trusting Jesus for your salvation equals giving up your rights to yourself. It means you understand that Christ has already bought you from the curse of sin through his sacrifice on the cross. For this reason, you now understand that you are not your own anymore. Being saved means surrendering your life to Christ. You make him your Lord or Master. In everything, including decision-making, you consider his will and teaching. 3. There is a sense of freedom. Ironically, having a master in Jesus will not make you feel enslaved at all. But, on the other hand, you begin to enjoy spiritual freedom from the bondage of sin. Slowly but surely, you learn to forgive and love those who have hurt you in the past. Also, almost miraculously, you can finally untangle yourself from toxic habits, such as harmful vices. 4. You have completely repented from your sins. If you now understand the gospel, you realize that it is the sins of humanity that have led to the sacrifice of Christ. Jesus is the Son of God, and He is holy and blameless. However, He suffered like a criminal for crimes He did not commit. This realization will make you hate sin completely, causing you to genuine repentance. True repentance means transformation. It is not enough that you cry your eyes out, feeling sorry for your sins. It means leaving your habitual sins behind. It is consciously striving to avoid doing them again. 5. You are confident that God has already forgiven your sins. Another sign that you are saved is the knowledge that your sins have already been forgiven. Since you have believed in Christ as your Savior, you know that His blood has paid for all your sins. You should be aware that all the sins you have confessed and repented to from the moment you believed in Jesus are already forgiven. By God's grace, you can now walk in freedom without guilt. 6. Obeying God's commands is easier now. God's grace will make you love Him even more. Understanding the worth of your salvation the sacrifice of Christ will compel you to surrender your will to Him. As a result of that love and gratitude, it becomes your joy and mission to obey God's commands now. 1 John 2 verses 3-6 tells us, and we can be sure that we know Him if we obey His commandments. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. But those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love Him. That is how we know we are living in Him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. 7. There is a hunger for God's word. Being truly saved will lead you to spiritual revival. It will cause that hunger in your spirit for more of God. For this reason, you will have that desire to read or listen to God's word, study it carefully, and apply it in your life. Why is your spirit hungry for the scripture? It is because God's word is God-breathed. It contains the guidance that God's people need to live in according to his will. 8. You feel the need to fellowship with other believers. Being saved means becoming part of the body of Christ. You become part of a universal church. For you to grow spiritually, you will need to interact with other Christians. For this reason, you will have the urge to attend a local church, be part of a spiritual family, and use your God-given gifts to minister to them. Ephesians 5 verse 23 says, For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ also is the head of the church, he himself being the Savior of the body. 9. You have been changing for the better ever since. True salvation will result in your life's transformation. As mentioned above, it will first lead you to the repentance of your sins. Without your habitual sins, you become a better person. How will you verify this? The people around you will notice the difference between the old and new you. Of course, it does not mean you will not sin anymore. As long as you are on earth, you are still imperfect and vulnerable to sin. The only difference now is that you do not willfully sin anymore. And once you have fallen into temptation, you will immediately repent and try harder to avoid it next time. 
10. You are passionate about sharing the gospel with other people. It is usual for people to be excited when they receive good news. They will happily share it with others. How much more if that good news can benefit them as well? God's mercy and grace will make you talk about His goodness to others. If you love your family and friends, you will not want them to go to hell. And fully understanding what can save them from it, it is impossible not to be compelled to share the gospel with them. Work out your salvation. Many people claim to believe in Christ. However, not everyone is genuinely saved. If you want to make sure that you are already saved, you have to work out your salvation. It should be clear in your life. You have no contribution to your salvation since Christ paid it in full already. However, your redemption will only be evident in how you live. Therefore, make it your commitment to living for Christ daily by studying God's word, obeying his commands, and sharing the good news with others. If you stick to these, your salvation becomes more apparent as days pass by. Welcome, I'm so glad you are here. My name is Darius, and I will be praying with you today. With this prayer, you will receive money in one night. If you really want it, and you say this affirmation with all your being, then you have decided to take responsibility for your own life. Feel worthy of all the good you desire. Don't settle for little. That does not make you a better person or more humble. It just doesn't let you achieve what you want, because you are destined for abundance. And abundance comes to those who feel worthy of it. Remember the words of deserving, I can, I deserve it. Say this prayer. Father, I choose to honor you by being a fair and honest person. I will deal justly with others and never cheat them for dishonest gain. I reject arrogant pride and cling to honor and humility. Teach me the ways of integrity, Father, lead me on paths of justice and righteousness. For riches will not profit me in the day of wrath, but righteousness will deliver me from death. You have blessed all of my accounts and have filled my treasuries. Teach me to save and invest well that I may show myself to be a person of power. I know that being in a position of leadership often births unwarranted enemies. I will not let them bring me down. I am called to be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. Murmurers and backbiters might as well get used to it. I am not so foolish as to follow after get-rich-quick schemes. I will not listen to vain persons who try to get me to join their wealth-building systems, telling me how easy and effortless it is. I am wise enough to know that riches and laziness are contrary to each other. You prosper what I set my hand to do, not what I sit back and expect to be blessed with. Father. I thank you for giving me balanced wisdom. You have not placed me here to be taken advantage of. My name is important to me, and I will not risk dishonoring it just to be security for another. I will not be one to co-sign and then find my name muddy due to lack of payment. I am a fair and just person and never allow myself to cheat others. When arrogant pride tries to enter my heart, I stand strong against it. I always remain humble and aware of who I am. My integrity guides me, and my trust is properly directed. 
My riches are but a tool. I know that they will not profit me in the day of wrath, but my righteousness will deliver me from death. Therefore, I let righteousness and purity direct me in my way. When trouble comes, righteousness shall deliver me. I am gracious and generous in all that I do. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Through his wisdom I fill my savings accounts with an abundance of riches. I will not allow myself to be influenced by those who do not know the truth. I would rather be despised and have a servant than to be caught up in false humility and struggle to make ends meet. It is the diligence of my hands that brings me abundant wealth. What I have, I have earned through hard work and keeping the precepts of the Lord my God. In Jesus name, amen. Type amen if you expect a miracle tonight. Dot watch this important message right now. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now.